Hello guys, it's me Teacher Hanji and welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. In this video, we're going to find the domain and range of a given quadratic function. For now, let us talk about the orientation of the graph. Remember that the general form of quadratic function is f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. If a is positive or greater than 0, then the parabola opens upward. But if a is less than 0 or negative, then the parabola opens downward. So by looking at the value of a, the numerical coefficient of x squared, we can identify what will be the orientation of the graph of our quadratic function. Now, let's find the domain and range of our quadratic function. Remember that domain is all the x values. What are the possible values that we can substitute to our variable x for a quadratic function? Well, the domain will always be any real numbers, so we can write it in this notation form x such that x is an element of real numbers. So you can have all the values of x that there will be a corresponding values of y. Now, let's have the range. The range is all the y values. So from here, we will take note of the orientation of our graph. So if a is positive or greater than 0, it means that the parabola opens upward. In this parabola, we have our minimum value. To get that minimum value, we just need to get the y-coordinates of our vertex. So we can say that y is greater than or equal to k. To get the value of k, we need to apply the formula that you learned from our previous lessons, which is k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. And after getting our minimum value, it is the time to write it in our notation form y such that y is greater than or equal to k. So what if our a is negative or less than 0? So in this case, our graph opens downward. Our vertex is located at the maximum point. Remember that our k, which is the maximum value, will be the limit of our y. So take note that our parabola is going down. Therefore, our y is less than or equal to k, where k is equal to 4ac minus b squared over 4a. And then from there, after getting k, we will place it in our notation y such that y is less than or equal to k. Let, now, let us have the following examples. Let us identify the domain and range of the following quadratic functions. First, y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. So the domain of that is any real number. Therefore, we will use the notation x such that x is an element of any real numbers. Now, let us have the range. So, we know that the range is all the y values. So, from the given equation, we will notice that a is greater than 0. So, from there, we will have y should be greater than or equal to k, where k is equal to this formula. Now, get the values of a, b, and c first from our given equation. So, we have a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to positive a. Substitute it to the formula given for our k, which is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. So, we will have k is equal to 4 times 2 times 8 minus square of negative 4, all over 4 times 2. Simplifying that one, we have 64 minus 16, all over 8. 
and 64 minus 16 will give us positive 48 over 8 is equal to 6. Therefore, our k is equal to positive 6. Now, place it to our notation. Therefore, the range for y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to y such that y is greater than or equal to positive 6. So, let us have example number 2. f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, let us find first the domain. And we know that the domain is all the set of any real numbers. So, therefore, the notation for that is x such that x is an element of any real number. So, just move on with the range. And the range is also the values for our y. So, if you notice in our given equation, the value of a is negative. Therefore, it is less than 0. And from there, our y should be less than or equal to k. So, again, for the value of k, we will use the given formula. So, first, to solve for the range, to solve for the range, let us now identify the values of a, b, and c. Where a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to positive 9. Substitute it to the formula of k, so we will have k is equal to 4 times negative 1 times 9 minus square of negative 6 all over 4 times negative 1. Simplifying that one, it will give us negative 36 minus 36 all over negative 4. And negative 36 minus 36 is equal to negative 72. And negative 72 divided by negative 4 will give us positive 18. So since the value of our k is positive 18, we will now write the notation for this given quadratic function. So the range of f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to y such that y is less than or equal to positive 18. So let us have our third example. f of x is equal to 5x minus 9 plus x squared. So it's up to you if you want to arrange that into general form. But for now, we will not do that. So for the domain, it is x such that x is an element of any real number. And for the range, since our a is positive, then it is greater than 0. Therefore, our y should be greater than or equal to k, where k is given in this formula. So from there, let us now identify the values of a, b, and c. So our a is equal to positive 1, b is equal to positive 5, and c is equal to negative 9. If this is quite confusing, you may rearrange the given quadratic function into its general form. Now, after identifying the values of a, b, and c, substitute it to the given formulas for k. So we have 4 times 1 times negative 9 minus 5 squared over 4 times 1. Simplifying that part, we have negative 36 minus 25 all over 4. And negative 36 minus 25 is equal to negative 61. Negative 61 divided by 4 will give us negative 15.25. Now that we know the values of our k, now replace it to our given notation form. So the range for f of x is equal to 5x minus 9 plus x squared will be y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 15.25. Let us move on with our last example. 5 plus y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 24x. So to make this into general form, just transpose 5 to the left side. So it will give us y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 24x. Since 5 is positive to our left, after transposing it to the right side, it will become negative 5. 
So from there, let us find the domain. And the domain is the same with the first three examples, x such that x is an element of any real numbers. Since our a is negative, then the value of a is less than 0. And since that is less than 0, therefore y is less than or equal to k, where k is given by this formula. Let us now find the values of a, b, and c, where a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to positive 24, and c is equal to negative 5. Given the formula, substitute the values of a, b, and c that will give us 4 times negative 3 times negative 5 minus square of 24 over 4 times negative 3. Simplifying that part, we have 60 minus 576 over negative 12. So it will give us negative 516 divided by negative 12. Therefore, k is equal to positive 43. Now that you know the values of k, then our range is equal to y, such that y is less than or equal to positive 43. So that's it for our video. Just remember that the domain of a given quadratic function is all the x values. The domain will always be any real numbers and the notation for the domain is x such that x is an element of any real numbers. So as for the range, it is all the y values. If a is positive or greater than 0, then y is greater than or equal to k. The notation for that is y such that y is greater than or equal to k. So if a is negative or less than 0, then y is less than or equal to k, where the notation will be y such that y is less than or equal to k. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!